It was announced yesterday night that the Royal Navy had to decommission two of its warships due to severe shortages of sailors. It is believed that HMS Westminster and HMS Argyle were retired to allow their sailors to transition to the new Type 26 frigates of the service. The announcement was made as UK sailors were dispatched to the Red Sea to defend commercial ships against the Houthi militants. HMS Westminster's retirement is contentious because it required costly repairs in 2017 and was just recently put back into service. The anticipated cost of refitting HMS Westminster was £100 million, according to James Cartledge, Minister for Defence Procurement, in a statement to MPs in October. The ship's decommissioning coincides with a record number of sailors, including engineers and Navy divers, retiring. Companies in the private sector that can double wages have recruited many. The Daily Telegraph cited Whitehall insiders who defended the retirement of older ships to enable the Royal Navy to function as a modern, high-tech fighting force. It is always emotional when ships with long histories reach the end of their working lives, a source stated. However, decommissioning is the wise course of action. Before those ships can be reconditioned, the new Type 26 frigates will need to be placed into service. Based on official data, the Royal Navy has underperformed all other services in terms of recruiting during the past 12 months. In the 12 months leading up to March 2023, its recruitment intake fell by 22.1%, compared to drops of nearly 17% for the RAF and nearly 15% for the Army. Serving Royal Marines have been paid pound 500 in response to the problem to convince pals on Civvy Street to enrol. Admiral Lord West, the former chief of the Royal Navy, claimed last night that British warships were dropping like flies. The United Kingdom, he continued, requires a considerably larger surface fleet since the capabilities of the Royal Navy are currently constrained. John Healy, the Shadow Defence Secretary, has charged that the administration is incapable of addressing issues within the armed services. Head of the UK Armed Forces, Admiral Sir Tony Radican said last year that the Royal Navy had only 11 or 12 fully operating frigates and destroyers. The operational requirements of the Royal Navy are kept under constant review, a spokesman for the Navy stated. In order for the Royal Navy to fulfil its operational needs both now and in the future, the Ministry of Defence is dedicated to making sure it has the necessary capabilities. Following the kidnapping of the Galaxy leader in November, the UK joined a multinational coalition earlier this week to defend Red Sea merchant boats from attacks by Houthi terrorists headquartered in Yemen. However, as of right now, only one cruiser, HMS Diamond, has committed to the job. It is a part of an international mission directed by the United States and called Operation Prosperity Guardian, alongside American and French warships. Along with 11 other nations, the UK has demanded an immediate end to attacks on cargo ships by rebels supported by Iran, sending a final warning to militants to end hostilities along the vital maritime commerce route. Bear the responsibility of the consequences should they continue to harm life is the warning that the US, Australia, Denmark, Germany, Japan and New Zealand, along with other allied governments, have sent to the Hothas. The Yemeni rebels claim that they are aiming to stop Israel's air and military offensive in Gaza after Hamas's October 7th onslaught and they are targeting ships that are connected to or headed towards Israel. When asked on Tuesday if Britain was thinking about sending in additional armed forces to guard the crucial global shipping route, the official spokesperson for the Prime Minister responded, We are making plans for a variety of contingencies. Nothing has been decided upon. We will keep pursuing all available avenues, including diplomatic ones.